Hello everyone, this is Subifly here. Um, I'm doing a video on uh, the X1 Carbon, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon running Windows 8 Pro. Um, I haven't seen any videos out there in regards of, you know, upgrading your machine, uh, especially the ThinkPad lines. They've been pretty good with their, um, their drivers on them. Um, so I thought I'd give this a try. Now, this is not the X1 Carbon um, Touch, where it's a touch screen at all. But uh, I just want to give you an overview of how helpful it is for me, actually. Um, with the right drivers, everything's working. Um, it's actually very, very good using the mouse, just a mouse pad without touch screens. So first of all, uh, here's Windows 8 Pro, uh, full version. I uh, use this again. I've done videos on my X1 uh, running Windows 7, so I had upgraded this a couple days ago with Windows 8 Pro and I'm going to give you an overview of it works well um, even if you don't have a touch screen. A lot of people are saying you know, touch screen, touch screen, blah blah blah, you have to have a touch screen on Windows 8. Actually you don't um, just based on my experience in the last few days. Now although there are still some glitches, and I wouldn't say glitches but shortcomings um, but other than that I can get by throughout the day um, so let's go ahead and start um, with this. So with the normal Windows 8 uh, screen, um, hitting escape uh, would be, we'll get you in. So here is, um, here's the Windows 8 screen right here. So as you can tell, um, uh, I'm using two finger swipe. Okay, it's pretty smooth. You know, I don't have any problem. Um, uh, let's see, swiping down from the top, just like if you had a touch screen from the top down, get you the the your your settings or your menus, your sub menus, I guess. And if you swiped to the from the right to your left, um, if you would do it from a touch screen, you'd see your charms bar. In this one, um, you get your charms bar by swiping left to right, right. Again, let me give you an option. It's just sample. Let's see. So, search. So again, let me do that again one more time. Swipe, swipe again to go away. Now, multitasking was one of those uh, things, right? We wanted to see how does it work um, when you are multitasking, or from left to right supposedly it switches um, screens or it pulls the you know app and you can put it back in for dual that's a that's the settings that you can change but from the mouse pad on the X1 if you do from left to right sw um, swipe it switches between apps see that and it works great it's very responsive Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, one of the options was to from top, bottom, for your uh, settings, right? So anywhere you are, you can do settings, charms. Um, you can also do a, two, a four finger swipe where you can do changes like that between your apps. But you got open. So it's very intuitive. So again, um, to go back on this, going like back, you know, just pre by pressing this or using a three finger swipe to your left, and it goes back. See that? Forward is forward, three finger forward swipe. Oh, I don't have anything to go back to. A forward to there. Forward, back, back, forward forward, back, back. So it works and um, again it's very very responsive. I have not yet to wanted to reach out and touch the screen at all um, and uh, people are saying well it's confusing confusing because you got your desktop blah blah. You know what um, I open up my you know OneNote it opens up to my screen here I'm used to Windows 7, so it's not a big problem. Um, I can swipe with my 
uh, Windows 8 apps, perfectly fine. Um, get to your submenus, you can look at your swipe from top down, you can get your all apps. Um, between apps there. And I close by pressing Alt F4 instead of like finding, I don't know, how you normally delete, you know, closing your, your application. So, again, I don't see a problem as far as running. Um, there's a little bit of confusion that I had. Again, it's responsive. So, Lenovo did a great job on the drivers on these because it works very smooth and um, I never had to <laughs> had the feeling of having to reach here at all um, let's see what else can I go through this with you with oh there, yes my my gripe on this um, the one that I do not like is the confusion between Internet Explorer here which by the way it's really fast and intuitive so I go to google.com and so if to pull up your sub menu because usually if you move your stuff here you know you can still drag you know, as a side program so you can multitask but to get your sub menu or your address bar swipe from the top bottom then you can see all your, your other tabs that so again it's really smooth I mean I was really contemplating and moving to Windows 8 you know I was so used to running Windows 7 for work um, and as an IT manager uh, I was pretty quick to what I have but this is you know quite helpful um, you know I had my normal work related stuff here if, if I want my normal surfing internet here and then there's a different Internet Explorer here. Wanted to add, uh, Flash does not play from this Internet Explorer. To play the Internet Explorer, you have uh, Flash is you have to go through this Internet Explorer on the desktop. So yes, there's a few things that it's very confusing and it's annoying, um, but that's okay. Um, I'll, I'll live. Um, there's also apps, by the way, on the App Store um, or Microsoft Market, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can download YouTube app um, for Windows 8, so um, you can play YouTube. Um, but it's really smooth, and it, and again, it's a settings too. So um, when you first install this, if you don't change the settings, it just it sticks, so it doesn't slide. So there's actually called a glide on the UltraNav configuration, and you just slide through like that. So again. If you have any questions for me in regards to this, I'll do a little more in-depth as I do this for another week or so and see what else I can find. Uh, please post a comment or questions and I'll get in, you know I'll answer those as soon as I can. So again, thanks for watching as always. See you next time.